Hello, Jeremy Morgan here, and today's tutorial is going to be how to write a text file in C++. This has been a very popular page on my website, so I decided to make a little video blog here just to kind of show how easy it is to write a text file in C++. Now you can really go crazy with text files. Um, you can use it for logging, you can use it to dump data into a file, you can do all kinds of stuff. And C++ is a pretty complicated language, but it's pretty easy to do some of the more simpler things like writing a text file. And as far as performance goes, if you have something that requires a lot of math, a lot of file handling, then C++ is definitely a good language to use. So that's why I decided to create that tutorial about a year ago um, for writing a text file in C++, and it turned out to be very popular. So we're going to do it today on a video, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do it. Now I'm assuming that you have everything installed and configured and we're using Ubuntu Linux for this tutorial and G++ as I said before and what we're doing is just kind of the bare minimum we're using Pico as a text editor and G++ and compiling everything at the command line as I've said in other videos IDEs are great and they save you a lot of time and they're awesome for production level type software but when you're learning out and you're just a beginner, you definitely want to just use the text files and kind of do the basics so you can really learn the code and see what's going on. So let's get started. So we're going to create a file here called textwriter.cpp. And the first thing we want to do is include IO stream and F stream. namespace standard and let's go ahead and create our main function here. And this is the main function that's going to be ran as soon as this file is compiled and runs then this main function will be the first thing that's ran. So in here we want to go ahead and we'll create our output file stream and we'll call it our file. Now what this does is it creates a output file stream object that will write to a file. And the first thing we want to do is our file.open, so we'll call the open method, and the parameter for that is the name of the text file. So we'll call this test.txt. And what this does is it opens a file called test.txt. Pretty simple. just getting started with C programming, or C++ programming, sorry. What this is doing is we have a string here called this is a line of text, this is a return, and what we're doing is we're piping it into the R file object. That's what the errors, arrows there are. And then we want to close our file, so we'll call the close method. And you notice that we're going to return zero, which means we are finished with the program. We want to save it as textwriter.cpp. Now, if we look in our folder here, we just have the textwriter.cpp, and let's go ahead and compile that with G. shows that we have no errors, which is good. If we do ls again, we show the a out. We have a binary file there that's been compiled, so let's go ahead and run that binary. So we'll do dot slash a dot out. Now this particular program doesn't have any output to the console, so if it comes back blank like that, that means we're probably good. Let's go ahead and check our file again. We've got a new file there called test.txt. So let's see what's in there. And as you can see, this is a line of text. So that means our program worked and it was written. It's really that easy. So let's go ahead and do text writer. Now we're going to do something. 
something a little different just to kind of play around. We'll uh, we'll write we'll write some multiple lines of text to this file. And what I'm going to do is create a for loop. If you're not familiar with this, you can Google it. It's uh, very common. I'll explain it here in a minute. And what I'm going to do is create a for loop that's going to loop ten times. So what I'm doing is creating a counter here. It's uh, int i, which create an integer, int i. The for loop says i equals zero. That's where we start. And if i is less than ten, we'll increment it and run this loop. And notice what we're doing here. Okay, so what I've done is we're going to pipe in, this is a line of text, then we're going to pipe in i, which will be where the counter is at, and then we'll pipe in our return. Now if this works properly, this should write, this is a line of text. Let's go ahead and recompile it. got no errors, so it looks like it compiled. Let's remove our test.txt from the last exercise and we'll run our A out. As you can see we have a text.txt .txt again. Let's see what it looks like. Now as you can see this was written ten times. Since the counter started at zero, then we only see text nine, but this is actually text ten lines of text that have been written. This shows the power that you can do all kinds of things with uh, C++, with writing text files. You can write gigantic loads of data, you can parse things, you can do all kinds of neat stuff with this. So I hope this is a good introduction. Um, take a good look at the code and feel free to play around. There's no harm in, in trying new things. The worst that can happen is You'll get a failure when you run the compiler, and you can pick it up and try it again. I hope this helps, and I hope you subscribe to my channel, because we'll be 